Welcome to Pro Stitcher Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. Have you ever wanted to put an edge to edge in between a border on your quilt? I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's start by looking at the screen and opening up a design. So let's go to the File tab, select Design and Open. The design I've picked is in the 1PS Designs Continuous Line folder. Let's go ahead and scroll down and find it. It's called Flowers on Parade. So we'll open that up and next let's create an area. To set up my area, let's start at the top left hand corner here. You can see that I've already got my border stitched out first. I always recommend doing that before doing the edge to edge in the center. So let's move my machine so it's in that top left corner. We'll select the area tab and we'll do a multi point. Now I will just go ahead and set up points across the top of the quilt here, just on the inside of that border. all the way over to this top right corner. Then I'll come down and make an area that is as large as my throat space. And we'll touch the refresh button so you can see that area that I've created. Okay, there's my area. Now we need to repeat. When we're doing an, uh, an edge to edge inside, a border. We don't necessarily want to set up the entire quilt like we normally would on the screen. So let's go to the repeat tab and um, basic is selected on the ribbon, horizontal is selected in the sidebar and we'll touch the fill button and it will fill it and it didn't fill it too many times so we're going to go in and do some add some extras. I'll touch vertical, add another row, I definitely want to reduce my gap. So with the vertical selected, I'll start tapping this gap button to reduce it some. Now that looks pretty good. Okay, but let's add another row. I want to make sure that my design is outside of the area on all four sides here because we want to crop it in. So it's off the top, it's off the right side and the left side, and it's also off the bottom. That looks good. We'll go ahead and baseline it. But now I need to crop away this excess so that I can go ahead and stitch it. So we'll select the Modify tab, select Crop, and we want to crop the outside and close the edges. At this point, I'm ready to go ahead and start stitching. So I will baseline and I will start stitching my design. Now, I'm going to stitch a row, and if you look here on the screen, I'm going to be able to stitch this first row, which is par a partial row, all of the second row, but this third row I will not be able to stitch all of. And I don't want to just stitch a partial row down here. So before I advance my quilt, let's walk through those steps. I will undo what I've done so that I'm back to having that design. And at this point, I will do a drag and drop to advance my design using drag and drop. So you can refer to the instructions in Edge to Edge with drag and drop on how to do that. And then when I get to my new throat space, I will set up a new area and just repeat what I've done, making sure to only quilt the complete rows that are left on the screen every time I advance. All right, now you have the steps of quilting out that edge to edge in between borders.